guys, it's Aoife from Words of Clover and I'm here today with a book review. So the book I am reviewing today is Dear Reader, The Comfort and Joy of Books and it is written by Cathy Rensenbrick. This is a book that I received from Book Break in exchange for an honest review so a big thank you to them for giving this book to me. And this is a book that I absolutely loved. I finished it last night and as soon as I finished it, even I wasn't even finished, I was like near the end of it and I knew this was the type of book that I loved so much I wanted to dedicate a singular book review book video review for it because it is just such a lovely book and I think so many book lovers would enjoy this. In fact, I can't think of any book lover who wouldn't enjoy this book. So Dear Reader is a non-fiction book. It's only about 200 to 300 pages depending on what edition you are going to be reading and it is just a lovely book basically where Kathy Rensenbrick is talking about her life through books and how throughout her life books have been a source of kind of comfort and joy for her as well as times like they have given her solace, they have given her companionship and they have been counsellors in a way as she has dealt through grief and other different forms of trauma in her life. As I said I just think that so many different readers will be able to connect to different parts of this book. I found myself connecting straight away into the book and it is just something that I definitely think I will be gifting to all my book lover friends as well as just picking up again and again and maybe just reading different parts to myself as well as so many different books that Kathy talks about in this book as well and um, there are definitely books that I've never heard of before that I now want to read and I think now and again I might pick up like different sections of this book and just pick maybe a book that she has recommended uh, about different themes and just go and get that book in a whim and read it and see what I think. I think that might be a really fun experiment for me to do about trying different books from this book. So even from like the very start of this book, the first chapter, I found myself like underlining different quotes and things that Kathy talked about and um, about how she identified as a reader and kind of what reading gave to her. And I'm not someone who actually like underlines or annotates my books at all. I generally just sometimes like I might take a picture of the quote so I can um, then use it in a review if, if I'm writing a written review of that book. But there was something about this one where I was like I want to physically like underline and um, do whatever I can with the pages of this book so when I'm flicking through it I'll be able to see the points where I really like did resonate with what Cathy was saying and again that is like a new experience for me that I have never really wanted to do before. There was a couple of books in the past such as A Ghost in the Troth by Dear and Agrifa. There were some really lovely passages in that that I loved that I did underline and I think if I, if I was to reread that book um, I will definitely be probably underline more things in that book but this is definitely one where it's the first time I really like wanted a pen with me all the time so I could underline different things. For example one of the first things I underlined in this book was just something that 100% I resonated with and I think everyone else will and I just want to read it out for you. And it is, reading has always been a great source of comfort, knowledge, pleasure and joy. It is the most central aspect of my identity. The truest thing I could say about myself is I am a reader and I was just like that's me like I completely understand that and this book as Kathy talks about like her childhood and how from the very time that she was young she was always a reader there was never any specific books that she like picked up that made her a reader and especially on booktube you see people talk about specific books whether it be Harry Potter or Twilight or The Hunger Games or Percy Jackson there's very specific books that some people have read that have turned them into readers where I'm very similar to Kathy in that I have never not being a reader it's always just something that I've done even from when I was very small I would sit on the floor and um, in my mom and dad's bedroom and I would flick through the books that my dad owned like it was always just something that was inherently inside of me and um, I was always reading whether it was just like flicking through books to then picture books and you know animal arc books and so on and so forth to today where I'm reading all sorts of books all the time and um, there was never any singular book that I could pinpoint that made me a reader it's always just been who I am and that's definitely what I felt like with Kathy as well in this book. She definitely kind of talks about her, as I said, her childhood and obviously um, there were times where books were definitely like her best friends, they were her companions if she felt a little bit lonely or a little bit misunderstood um, as a child and that's definitely something I have resonated with as well. I definitely have a lot of strong memories of myself like you know in school like people were playing in the yard but I was sitting down reading I think it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire at the time and I just have this really strong memory of my friends trying to get me up to play because they didn't want me to read anymore and all I wanted to do was read this book and there's definitely times where reading has you know been the way I almost understand the world in a way sometimes um, and it's a way of like kind of being being a part of something as well. As I've said, there's times where Kathy also talks about how books have been there for her in times of grief and times of really terrible moments in her life. And 
being able to see maybe similar things happen in books were a way of her being able to understand her own pain and her own grief over a loss in her family and also like times of escape as well there is like a lot of times where books offered her this way of escaping her reality so she just didn't have to think about it anymore and she definitely talks about how that type of escape really helped her through these really really hard times and I think there's ev I think everyone who reads can understand that whether it's been a very very big moment in your life that has been hard or just like small pockets where you just felt really down and sad and picking up a book and escaping into someone else's world or connecting with a character in a specific way was just a really great form of solace and companionship in a way in a time that like you were otherwise feeling very lonely um, and lost. Kathy worked as a bookseller for a very long time and I've never worked as a bookseller but even though she kind of talked about the highs and lows of bookselling there is definitely like times where I felt jealous of like the different funny stories and anecdotes that she talks about and the joy that like bookselling brought her in terms of being able to recommend the perfect book for people and to develop relationships with customers and um, through their love of reading and through these particular book recommendations it almost made me jealous of like not experiencing that myself but I also deeply appreciate it as someone who goes in and buys books and who also connects with strangers over the books that I've been reading I just really loved reading those parts as well. One thing as well that I thought was really great and um, near the end of this book and Kathy's talking about that feeling you get after you've read a book that you've been completely absorbed in and it's something that like you really 100% were in this book and when you finish it and you almost feel like for the entire next day or for a few hours after you read that book you almost feel like you're in a daze or you're like dream walking almost and you just feel really funny the next day and it's almost like your reality is blurring with the the story that you're reading in the book and I 100% understood that I've definitely been there many times and it was almost a relief for me to read that and realize that other people feel that as well it's not just me being funny or weird that other people who read books do feel that kind of strange almost like you're suddenly coming up for air um after like maybe like just a long period of like being somewhere else and it was really great to be able to um see that reflected back in me that those that feeling that I've definitely felt many many times before one of the great things about this book um is as I said she does at the end of each chapter Kathy has like specific books and um, based around different themes so for example in this section she has books about bookshops and booksellers so she has the 13th tale by Diana Setterfield um, or Mr Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore by Robin Sloan so a few books that have and also a you by Caroline Kepnes which a lot of people know from the Netflix show as well so she has different like books um, set about around different themes to what she had previously been talking about it within her own life um, and I love the fact that you see some other books that are like talking about you know like just books people read when they were grown up or books books that meant a lot to different people and a lot of them are classics or books that books that are very very old or you know have a lot of I don't know grandiose like attached to them where these books that Kathy is reading yes she talks about Narnia and she talks about Pride and Prejudice and some other books that like would be classics but she also talks about really recent books like books um like A Little Life by Hany Yanagahari and um, my uh, my name is Leon by Kit Dewal and um, lots of other different books um, on earth were briefly gorgeous like loads of different books that have like come out the last few years that aren't particularly um, old some might not be very well known so she gives a lot of like different book recommendations which is what I really really love about this book as well so as I said I think this is the perfect book for book lovers it would be the perfect gift for anyone who is like struggling to get a book lover and um, a book to read because I know that can be really hard I had such a joy reading this book from start to finish I was smiling the entire time I really appreciated some of the bits that Kathy went into like some like very um very personal details in her life and the struggles that she went through and the grief that she experienced um as well as like the joys and the love and the other experiences she had that were really really great There's also a section of this before I actually was completely almost forgot to talk about this which I really enjoyed a section of this that is around Kathy working with a company that basically helps adults who um are either illiterate or have trouble reading and writing and she goes into prisons and talks to people who are incarcerated um, around their experiences of um struggling to read and why you know growing up in childhood um education was really like the last thing in their mind you know they, they were trying to survive their childhood and education wasn't important at the time and how she worked with these prisoners and kind of was able to bring this love of reading and stories in particular ways that really suited them and suited the way they learned and just being able to bring the joy of reading into people's lives who maybe a lot of people who maybe thought that they were never going to be able to get that and I really love that and I think it was just really really eye-opening of how people's childhoods can be different and people have like 
like so many different types of reasons as to why they might not be readers or they might not be comfortable reading a book and I just really love uh, learning about that as well and I think it was a really important section for her to add in and I'm really glad that she did. Not surprisingly this book was a 5 out of 5 stars for me, I absolutely loved it and I cannot recommend it enough. Um, definitely read this book, gift it to your friends and I don't think anyone will regret it because it is absolutely beautiful. If you've read this book I would love to know what you thought of it and um, if you have any other books similar to this book that you would also recommend me to read I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys again next time.